morning we are headed to Chalbi Desert. We've been to the Trukana side, we are going now to the eastern, the other side, just notice the other side. So I'll be updating you guys as we go through and showing you what I see. Let's explore. People travel to Kenya for its amazing beaches, scenic landscapes in the Great Rift Valley, and the magical wildlife in the national parks. But did you know that 80% of the country's land is arid and semi-arid? A large part of northern Kenya is arid and is characterized by deserts and picturesque terrains. The region is inhabited by pastoralists whose culture is not only rich but also unique. Recently, the roads to northern Kenya have improved and tourism is gradually increasing. People can now tour the north, discover its hidden gems and interact with the one of the most unique cultures in the world. We are at Karatina. At Karatina. <laughs> a short break at Nanyuki. We're just taking photos in this sign here at the equator. This is my second time here. I've been here. The last time I was here, we had come to Abadea's cottages that I've already made a video about. So if you have never been to Nanyuki, here is a sneak peek of how the town looks. I will be back to explore the place some more because Nanyuki has very interesting places to visit. It is the gateway to Mount Kenya, a Mount Kenya National Park. This is my first time in Isiolo County and Isiolo Town. The county has one of the top Kenyan wildlife conservancy, the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy. So if you plan to visit Kenya, consider visiting these sites too.
Guys, we have Hi a guys. new vlogger here. She's Welcome to me. our channel. I am taking over her channel today. <laughs> Welcome to Marsabit County. This is the cradle of mankind, the border county towards uh, Ethiopia, which is the land of origin. Tumukana, the cradle of mankind. I don't know why Marsabit is the cradle of are you, are you sure? Yeah, Trukana boy. Because early man was here. In fact, there are big graves we will see in near Chalbina, ah. a lot of rocks that I hear they were giants who were buried there who were supposedly early man but I think geographers are Jafanya Kazer But the oldest human being ever survived that ever survived, hmm. Ziko Hey, archaeologists, walifika apa? Walifika, my apa friend Apa eh? Okay, I don't know about Masabit <laughs> We will see <laughs> Kama walipotenji <laughs> But well, also, uh, Marsabit borders the uh, Trukana. Yeah, yeah. So, in fact, Loyangalani mm -hmm. is half is in Marsabit, half is in Trukana. The, the, is it divided by Lake Trukana? Yeah, yeah. A portion of Lake Trukana is in Marsabit County, and the other portion is in Trukana. So, probably. Did you do your book, I did. <laughs> Home Science Agriculture represent with IT. <laughs> Kuna options za accommodation, kuna manyata na kuna those other houses. But since I'm here for a different experience, I have to sleep in a manyata. It has a modern bed. I'm told there's a socket somewhere. It's cooler. Yeah. Kuna place for lighting and stay in a manyata. Yeah, okay. yeah. You're taking the other one? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. So we're going to swim in a natural pool for every change. You'll see looking for a rock. Yes, this road is bumpy.
Okay, let's do it. Ndoto Natural rock slide, mm -hmm. or in the local language called Derawai Pulse. Yeah. Derawai Oasis, Derawai Pulse. Derawai is located in the middle of Ndoto Ranges eh? in okay. mountains. Oh. Okay. So there are two types of ranges mm -hmm. in Samburu. Yes, Samburu and uh, Marsabit County. Mm -hmm. So this is Ndoto Ranges, still in Samburu County, but accessible via Marsabit. And there's the Matthew Ranges, the famous Matthew Ranges. Eh? Mm. So this is very scenic. And we have our expert here, Simon. Simon. Mm. Who knows the mountain? <laughs> by name, by name, by name. What you're doing in February, between February and March, mm. because there's a school holiday, we are trying to get people who are nature lovers, hikers. You come hike, it's called Hike for Good Hike. Mm -hmm. Then we are all having background in different professions, yes? Mm -hmm. So there's a rescue center here for girls. Mm -hmm. So if you are a techie and you like hiking, if you are a teacher and you like hiking, if you are an environmentalist and you like hiking, mm. we give you an opportunity to mentor mm. the girls in the Ndoto Conservancy. Mm. Mm. It is a rescue from? Okay, so here there is a lot of FGM and early marriages, rampant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay, it's sponsored by KDEF. KDEF is Kenya Education Dryland Fund, a local organization supporting kids with education, seeing them through education mm -hmm. from primary up to university mm. levels. Yes. And because they know, once they send these kids school closes, you're sending them back home. What you're subjecting them to is early marriages mm. and FGM. So they, after school closes, they're brought into the rescue center where they stay up to. They finish the university level. The parents are allowed to come visit. 
Oh, no, 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 no going, no going back home. Yeah, no going, staying back home because some of these kids don't have a place to stay. See, they come from poor communities. They go to stay to the auntie and they're sold off. Eh? Mm -hmm. So they're given, provided a place to stay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can come, hike, empower them. Yeah, you learn. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. you think of you look at the map and you think of northern kenya you just think of arid and semi-arid places desert bare land all that that is what we've been told but look at this all these beautiful places which have not been exploited i'm telling you guys this place is so beautiful and i would totally recommend it because the more you come the more you support the community the sliding rocks we've just used there's some cash that will be collected to be taken towards the community and it will support the community. 300 shillings. This is just amazing. And by the way, I'm excited about sleeping in Amanyata. I really want to know how it feels to live like the pastoralists here, the, uh, the Samburu people. So this place is in Samburu, but we are, we are sleeping in the houses where we are sleeping. It's in in Marsabit. Runits in uh, Marsabit camp, camping site is in Marsabit County, but it is just like six kilometers from here. We've accessed this this uh, the sliding rocks through Samburu. So they're just neighbors. This is now the authentic pastoralist life. I'm excited about this. Imagine an adulterated form. Now I'm told in this place there are elephants, leopards, mostly. You can see this tree. This is the work of the elephant. Walking back to the cruisers so that you can go back to the camp. We take a bath, we have our dinner, we do some games. Okay, this trip just turned out to be something I never thought it would be. I, I really didn't know what to expect, but I'm loving this. If you have loved the adventure as much as I did, please comment below and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Until the next video guys, bye!